going live now to discuss Maximus. Going live now, discuss Maximus. Trustless fake pulling. Trustless hex fake pulling. <laughs> Maximus, Maximus. Oh man, that gets me hyped every time. We're on a mission to empower elite gladiators with high yield assets to build empires of generational wealth. Our vision is to build the best decentralized financial tools that are easy to use, secure, and maximize returns for investors. Maximus is built on Hex, which is a leading DeFi protocol that allows people to stake their Hex tokens and earn trustless yield. In its first two years, Hex has done a 10,000x price run up, and there are over 100,000 stakers actively using the protocol. So we thought, what if there was a way to maximize Hex yield and minimize gas fees for stakers? So we built Maximus Stake Pools, which are trustless smart contracts that enable people to stake their Hex together to earn more yield and save on gas. Right, and the way I like to think of it is each Maxi, uh, what Maximus DAO does is gives he a hex stake the properties of an ERC-20. So now you can own part of a stake while also getting the exposure to all of the functionality a ERC-20 has. Send, receive, as well as liquidity providing. Non-negotiable, so no admin keys, no sacrifice phase, no pre-mine, no transaction fees, the project will be uh, completed at launch, so immutable code, fair token distribution, and the code will be audited. Sweaty hex again, I'm pumped. We'll gladly put some hex away in the maxi state. Let's go. It's really, really simple, guys. Um, you know, you're just pledging hex. The cool thing about the mint phase is that you instantly receive your maxi tokens. So, you know, unlike a sacrifice phase where you're giving your coins and then you know, maybe you get something in return, like an airdrop. Um, with Maximus, you're you're minting your own tokens. It's just you interacting with the contracts, much like Hex. So there's no expectations of work of others, and um, it's it's immediate. So that's um, that's pretty awesome. We just passed um, you know our first audit, uh, and then we just got our second one back and, and passed that as well. So. Um, to do that, like at first go, I, I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, so he's been, um, you know, in charge of development um, and kind of the economics as well. And then I have been um, on the product design aspect of, of building out the DAP um, as well as kind of all the marketing and, and community management stuff. With just 2 million more hex, we will suddenly become the fifth largest ever max length hex stake. So we have one day to get two million more hex and we'll be in the in the top five for um, largest max length hex stakes. Hedron's more of like, this is, like I said, this is a representation of a share that existed at one point in time. Um, and Icos is represented, uh, representative of the cost of making a new stake, like the cost of a share. The the maxi system is really just about like democratizing and selling shares of stakes and, and i think those three derivatives of hex uh all complement each other very well i know yeah i know tanto how do you say it? like tanto nomini or do you just call him dip catcher or tanto nomini so okay. the tanto nomini means um a name so great it doesn't need a tombstone or something like that. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a cool name, but people people definitely have a hard time like pronouncing it. Um, <laughs> say tombstone to me. <laughs> yeah, you always had that Italian twist on it. T tanto, Tanto, live radio, live radio. It's like the Italian uh, FM radio station now. Uh, tanto or Dip Catcher, you may see him out there under those different names. Tanto no me. <laughs> dip Catcher Radio, back again. <laughs> yes. I like yes. just, you know, 100% of the supply was created at the start. Then over time, the supply can actually be burnt, but it will never grow in supply. And, and then just after the stake ends, you can redeem your portion. Um, and so until then, you know, the, the market just trades the coin wherever, you know, whatever the supply and demand is in that moment. So is there something else in the works? 
So I'll just say that there's clear demand for this type of stake pooling um, and seeing how uh, just like how the how it worked and um, kind of how the market responded and just also how people like emotionally responded to it. Um, that gave us a lot of clear cut ideas of what to roll out next. The new expansion pack for Maximus. Yeah, because the you know okay. there's five there's five new coins. And there's kind of a lot going on. You know, you got some choices, you got some options. New opportunities for Hex. Uh, we are introducing four new stake pools called the Perpetuals, and you'll find out why. Base is a one-year stake, Trio is a three-year stake, Lucky is a seven-year, and Desi is a 10-year. These pools will start just like Maxi with the mint phase. All the Hex will be staked and begin earning yield. So in Maximus, we pool Hex into large singular stakes. The purpose is to save hex skins from gas fees. It has other benefits like increased earnings and um, and ability to sell at any time. But the entire purpose of the pools is really just to save hex skins on gas fees because there is a lot of risk in gas fees, um, especially the longer the stake is. So the user's value proposition is um, increased earnings versus staking alone. 99% gas fee savings and the token that holds your ownership in the stake is liquid, it's fungible, and it's easy to sell. So the stake lengths for the perpetuals are 369 days for base, 1,111 days for trio, 2,555 days for lucky, and 3,696 days for desi. And we have maxi. We, we didn't, in, in this analysis, we didn't include maxi just because like, um, just for more direct head-to-head -head comparison of, of, of uh, the perpetuals or Cyclosa. Who benefits the most? So individual small participants benefit by being able to capture as much value from their stake text as possible. The team launch requires Maxi to mint team. So Maxi is the current 15-year pooled stake token that's out right now, and you can convert Maxi to team in a one-for-one -one ratio. And then once you have the team tokens, you can stake those tokens to earn rewards. Um, so you have to remain staked for that whole period to earn rewards. And there's also um, a 3.69% early, um, early end stake penalty, um, which burn like, so that actually makes team supply deflationary um, because it's, it kind of works like hex where when you, when you stake it, your tokens are actually burned. And then when you unstake, they're reminted. So right. that, that penalty, when people early unstake, that team is just never reminted. So it'll cause the supply to go down. You said half of the maxi that gets sent to the contract for the team token goes to the mystery box. Mm -hmm. And then you said a second thing as well. And, and a, a copy of the team minted. So the mystery God, box starts out yeah. with half of the team and half of the maxi that went into it. And so okay. what, what, you know, what I, you know, when, when people ask about it, since it's a mystery, you know, it's a mystery, but what I ask is what they would do if, if, if you had a bunch of maxi and a bunch of team. And whatever they say, it's one of the possibilities because truly anything can happen. Mm. I think it's one of the coolest things about um, the Hex ecosystem in the bear market is there's been something to be excited about in a bear market constantly. You know, we've had Maximus, then we had the Perpetuals, then we had Team, then we've got like Icosa and Hedron, and we've got all these things coming. So, I mean, Personal thank you for making the Biz Bear market exciting and there, for, for there to be things to learn about and discover. <laughs> so introducing Polywater. So Polywater is short, water is short for we're all the executor. And it's the Poly Maximus Bid Executor Gas Fee Pool. So you prove your support for Poly Maximus and increase the chance of success by minting 369 water tokens per one ETH contributed to the Poly Water contract. Basically, Poly is a hedron pool that um, that bids on HSIs in these auctions. So I guess you know you'd have to know what HSIs and auctions and hedron are. You know, so yeah, for a brand new person. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a coin, it's, it's a coin that's backed by other assets that produce yield. And the type of asset is these, they're called HSIs. They're hex stakes 
that have been put through this system called icosa <laughs> which is related to hedron and the icosa system um it basically causes these things to go to these liquidation auctions and so there's going to be about six thousand hsis coming to auction pretty soon um and um and so hedron is like a variation of the previous hex staking pools that we built whereas instead of the previous pools where you deposit hex and then the hex is staked as a big pool you deposit hedron hedron is used to bid on these auction on the on these hsis coming to auction and then those HSIs are, are held and backed, or the poly token is backed by those HSIs. Welcome back, everybody. Dipcatcher Radio back again. Uh, probably the lowest moment in Maximus Dow history. Uh, as you, many of you know, yesterday, as the first set of auctions were coming to an end, it became clear that the system for processing the HSIs and scheduling their end uh, wasn't going to work. Basically what happened was that um, the assumption that was made was that the HSIs were tokenized um, as they came in since you know when you sold them back to the ICOs contract you took tokenize it and then sell it back and so the mistake was that the assumption was that the stake remained tokenized, which it does not because during the ICOSA buyback, um, the it detokenizes the stake. So um, the reason why this happened was because um, on testnet, there was no way to really test the auctions because um, there just were no auctions to be had. We're pretty lucky that the safeguard against poor executor performance um, actually saved the situation um, because the fallback option in the poly contract is that unused Edrin just simply gets staked. Um, and so when it became clear, let the executor know no more, can't process them. So the, the, um, you know, so in 30 days from now, the hedron will be staked as per the design of the contract to just simply stake the leftover hedron. And so moving forward, Poly is a one point, it'll turn out to be about 1.8 trillion hedron stake. So it's a little bit smaller than the God Whale, which I think is 5 trillion. Um, but now Poly is basically a, a giant maxi for staking hedron. In an amazing turn of events, we saw the Hedron source address mint 500 billion poly. So they deposited 500 billion Hedron into the pool and then minted the poly and then burnt the poly. And so in effect, what that did is it canceled out that 15% Hedron haircut from the bids that went to HSIs that are good as good as burnt um, and it but not only did it restore that it actually exceeded it so now each poly is backed by about 1.1 hedron when i'm doing those marketing things and i'm talking about maximus it helps me identify kind of those core components which is kind of why i put off the website so long um just because you know, bringing all those things together with the perpetuals and team, um, it's not the easiest thing. They, you know, and I made, I think I made the mistake when we announced, um, I wrote this hella long uh, white paper that was just like every detail. I should have, I should have simplified before. So I'm kind of trying to bring simplicity to the white paper in like a, a cohesive site. What's up, everybody? Back again. Dipcatcher Radio. The late night stream to announce the launch of yet another fantastic product. <laughs> Who remembers those Billy Mays infomercials? I feel like <laughs> I feel like Billy Mays. <laughs> Back again with another fantastic product. <laughs> 
There's two types of people in this world. There's dip catchers and there's pump chasers. Which one are you? This one helps you be a dip catcher and not a pump chaser. The algorithm can be applied to short-term time frames for intraday dip catching opportunities or long-term time frames for macro level dips in the market. So you see here, it, while, while DCA, the algorithm was designed for like the long-term, like weekly and daily charts, um, if you apply it to the, say the hourly chart right here, you can still see how it, it, it you know, that same analysis like helps round out those intraday dips. So like, if you know that you're buying today, um, this can be a, a good, a good way to, um, you know, just find the best price over any like one or two day period, just like by applying it to the shorter time frame, um, you know, conditions. But you know, the, the, the bread and butter really is the long term, long term dips, long term dollar cost average. And we've got all these derivatives built on top of Hex now, so you may have heard of them, like Hadron, Icosa, Maxi. Um, We've also got the incentive token. That right there is almost the whole stack. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share with a friend. If you have a friend that's sitting on the sidelines, watching you have all the, the crypto fun, time to get him in. We're just having fun out here, baby. The rest of the market's not, but we are. Be like, are you Maximus for life? Or like, what's you have any idea around that? I mean, that's what it feels like. Maximus is just like so simple. It's like, you know, five minutes, you can kind of just get it. It's like, oh, if you get, if you get Hex, if you get Hedron, it's like, okay, th yeah, this just makes sense.